Hello, my deep soul tribe. How are we all? Welcome to anyone who is new. My name is Kelly. For anyone who doesn't know, this is the new addition to the Deep Soul Tarot Tribe. This is Remy. Hi. <laughs> Remy is my mascot for readings now. We're going to put Remy over here. Remy is energetically charged and cleansed, so he is a part of the readings Offers me some extra wisdom, if you will. So, uh, you probably can't see him because he's right over here. He's black with everything else here. So, today we're going to be doing, um, today is, or tonight, is a full moon in Virgo. There is a lot going on as of today. Today, um, Mercury goes direct. There is a shadow period of a week about after, but we are now um, getting out of Mercury retrograde. We have a full moon. Friday the 13th is coming at the end of the week. Lots going on here. Um, I usually do uh, a thing called Monday Moods, which is kind of a love reading. This is going to be different because, I mean, there will be emotions in it. If love comes through, I will point that out, that energy. But I usually do a more... Um, you know, what our emotions and moods are of the day. But that can incorporate into this too. And for um, for my Deep Soul Tribe and anyone who's new, my daily readings are now going to be called Daily Dose. And what I consider it is your a daily dose of wisdom, your daily dose of medicine, if you will, to make you feel better. To hopefully make you feel better moving forward so you can get through your day. So I do daily reads every morning, different theme every day, but basically they kind of tie in together as the week goes forward. And uh, so if you want to tune in for those, uh, come get your daily dose of wisdom and um, move along through your day with, with better knowledge of maybe the path you should be on. Okay, let's get into this. I already pre-shuffled the cards and uh, did a meditation with spirit. I will give it a quick shuffle here. And if you want to close your eyes, take a deep breath. Maybe even stop the video for a minute or two. All right, I'm going to cut the deck and then spend just a quick moment with spirit just to feel the energies. And then if you do the same, you can almost send your inner, in, enemy, send your enemies away. Send your energies into the read to see what can come up for messages for you. Spirit, hello. What messages do you have for our daily collective today? What daily dose of wisdom can you give us all today in this reading? For the full moon in Virgo, in addition with Mercury going, in di going direct, but particularly the full moon in Virgo. What messages do you have for all of us for March 9th, 2020 and moving forward? so much spirit spirit says three shuffles shuffle three more times so i'm going to do this reading a little bit different so let's see how it goes tried it on my own earlier and it was pretty powerful so let's see how this works shall we so All right, so I'm going to take four cards off the top of the deck. I've also, um, well, let's look at the general. I'll look at the general energies first, and then I will do power. This is a very, very, very powerful time. Card number sixteen, and look, full moon. Wow, wow, how cool is that? Power. This is a time for power for all of us. It is time to take. Take the reins and take control of our lives. What is it that you all want to get a grip on in your life? Because this is the time of, of purging and thinking about what isn't really serving us anymore. And as we move towards the new moon, working towards having a new beginning. And this is the perfect time to take those steps. All right, let's see what we have as the general focus here. Balance. Let me move these. I'll move that up there. Balance. Absolutely. There are things in our lives that 
may be out of balance. Think of your life. What is not in balance? Now, this isn't, like I said, this is usually Monday moods. Um, this could be related to a, this is card number 19. And this deck, just so you all know, is the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. I bought these cards specifically for moon readings. I wanted to do uh, moon energy reads, moon phase readings. Um, so right now I'm just doing, um, I do incorporate them a little bit. I use them for Mercury Retrograde for other readings. But um, they're very, very um, powerful cards. They're, they're really cool. It's a really cool deck. But anyways, balance. We need some balance in our life. I'm really hearing that you need to... I'm hearing that you need to balance your thoughts. That your head's almost in the clouds. It's, um, maybe you're not being realistic about a situation. Maybe you're trying to be in, maybe you're in denial. Maybe trying to find the best in the situation, which is fine. But there comes a time when you have to really step back and go, okay, um, assess the situation, basically. Assess your, if an assessment comes up, I'm going to freak out, but assess your situation because there's something here that that you aren't looking at realistically that you may very well be in denial about. Really think about your life. Is there something that, and this is, a, oh, I didn't say, this is a general read. I usually say that in all my readings. This is a general read, so it's it's not going to resonate with all of you. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So if by chance some of this doesn't resonate, uh, maybe some of it does, some of it doesn't, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, but a lot of people, well, hopefully a lot of people watch this reading, but a lot of people watch readings on YouTube, and it can't possibly resonate with everyone. But, um... But it is a general message, so there, this, there may very well be something in here that each person can take with them. Maybe not the whole message. And time is an illusion, and energies are fluid. So this is, yes, for the new, I mean, the full moon tonight, but um, today, tonight, I'm not sure, depending on what part of the world you're in. Uh, um, so some of this could have already happened. Maybe you're in the process of some of this, or maybe this is stuff that's going to happen down the road, even past it could even be past March. Um, if you're watching this at a later date, um, whenever you are guided to watch this is most likely when you need the message at that time. So just because this is dated for a certain thing, um, that that's full moon energy, but it moves forward, you know? And so, you know, whenever you watch this is when you uh, most likely there is a message in there for you. Just wanted to say that. All right. So, um, Well, let's see what we have as far as acceptance. Okay, that gives me a better idea here. Um, there's something in your life going on. There's a situation going on in your life that you need to assess and get a better, your life is out of balance. You need to get a better balance on it. There's something that you need to just accept that it's not working or you need to get rid of. Um, maybe it's something that happened to you in your past and, um, you know, it could be a breakup. It could be a family situation, something that happened to you, something that went on or is going on in your life. And you just have to step back. And once you have worked through, heal, work through the emotions, um, anything that comes up, accept them, acknowledge them. Except that that's, that is just the way it is. That's, everything happens in divine timing. And everything happens for a reason. I know sometimes, you know, when things happen, you're like, shut up. You know, everything happens for a reason. Well, at the moment, that doesn't necessarily help you, really, a lot of times. Because um, you're, 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 you're kind of caught in the, the situation, caught in the emotions. Whether it's anger, you're caught in the anger. But as time goes on, in retrospect, then you can look back and say, oh, wow, now I see it. Now I see everything does happen for a reason. So in order to gain some balance in your life, you need to get your head out of the clouds, if you will. Um, open your eyes. See how the person's eyes are, are they have the light. That You have the wisdom within. You have the wisdom. I think you know internally. 
You know internally that whatever this is isn't going to change. Just accept it as it is and move on. If it's someone in your life who there be, it may even be a friend, if their behavior isn't changing and you've tried to talk to them about it, you've tried to work, you know, work with them, it could even be someone with an addiction, then that's pretty drastic. And that may only be for a small handful of any of you. But it can be something as big as that, or it could be something as um, communication issues or somebody's, I don't know, their behavior just, and you've tried to work with them. Maybe they're critical every time you're around them, they're, they're criticizing you. There comes a point when you have to just accept the situation, accept the person the way they are. This is who they are. And either cut them out of your life because you're tired of them doing what they're doing, being critical or whatever the situation may be. But I think in order to get some balance, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Queen of Swords, which is cutting something out of your life, doesn't show up here. All right, so this is kind of like... Um, this is kind of what I see is kind of like the recent past. So this is the, um, the present right now. This is what I see as, so basically how this reading goes is this is earth, this is air, this is fire, this is water. This is the ground and what's happening. Um, the earth is in the, the third dimension here on earth in the physical world. This is, could be the spiritual world or um, air is all about thoughts, communication, but your, your way of thinking in this situation, basically. How you are thinking about it, how you need to switch your thoughts, how you need to think about it. And right now you have to think about it and find some way to accept it. So the, the fire um, is, is to me the re kind of the recent past. Um, I don't want to say what fueled this situation, but let's see what comes up. And then, of course, the water would be flowing, moving forward, blossoming. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So in order for you to blossom, I'm just hearing a couple of things here. Let me just look at this. I'm hearing dance move to the steps of your own beat dance to your own tune which is interesting because that's how i base my tuesday tempo so which would be tomorrow's reading so um there's something that you're passionate about it's almost as if this person has squashed your fire is, is basically putting out your fire and you're slowly right now it's burning at an ember which means the fire is almost out it's still burning but it's almost out and don't let that person have that power over you you need to find a way to get some balance and it could very well mean eliminating this person from your life but it doesn't have to be a person it could be a situation a job um, maybe it's something you're doing you know, maybe something's going on in your life and, and you just have to accept whatever the situation is and find a way to move forward. You know, so it doesn't even have to be another individual. This is the flower moon, which... It could be a job because I'm hearing sweet success. I, whatever, I don't know how that resonates with anybody, but I'm hearing sweet success. Um, but you see how the person is playing? She's playing a... A violin. I don't even see a bow in her hand. She doesn't. She doesn't have any uh, tool in her hand. But she, the music. She's blossoming. See the light. You see the light. And again, you have the wisdom within. I think you know. Thirty-three. Interesting. Um, I'm hearing that. It, in the recent past, you've done a lot of growth. Maybe you have already thought about this situation. But you didn't, you still did not know how to move forward with it. You've thought about it. What this is suggesting, if you haven't already, is to just learn how to accept the situation. You can't change the past. 
we can only control what we do. We can only control so much in life. And we can only control what we do and how we perceive things. We can't change other people. And in general, we cannot change situations for the most part. Um, you can take steps to move forward, which helps put things into motion. So if it's something that is not suiting you or is not fulfilling in your life, you have to come to an acceptance of, I'm going to have to let it go. And I mean, they have two hands in here, so it almost looks like, uh, with the picture here, that it could be a letting go of something. Letting go of another person, letting go of a relationship, um, something. But this has been growing. I think this thought, uh, this, um, it's like internally you knew. That this is where it was headed. Let's see if we're moving forward. Yeah, look at that beautiful nourishment. Nourish the soul. I mean, this could also mean you need to you need whoa well you need to eat right. I heard that, but I'm also hearing I can relate to this because um, uh, health issues. I mean, maybe <laughs> this could be something literal as as changing your diet. Maybe you're allergic to a certain food. Maybe you are um, told that you're diabetic. Um, something, some sort. It could be a health thing. Because that can make a difference in your physical being and mental and, and how you perceive things. You know, when you don't feel good, nothing seems right. And I'll just give you a quick example. I just recently went to a doctor. Um, I have some um, physical health issues that is really affecting my day-to-day -day life. Um it has for, I mean, I've had stuff since I was young, but as I've gotten older, I won't say how old. Come on now, don't get into my business there. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. How old is she? <laughs> um, don't tell him, Remy. Shh. <laughs> um, anyways, I went to the doctor, and this is very briefly, the doctor, and we're doing a bunch of different tests, but I am, I've known since a kid I've been allergic to wheat. And um, uh, I have a lot of physical pain. Just... Beyond what you would consider arthritis or anything at the joints. It's, it's, so they're not sure exactly what it is, but it could very well be my diet because if you're allergic to something, it can affect your body in a lot of different ways. I am allergic to other foods and other things, but, um, wheat in particular. And so now I do live with somebody who has a, she lives a gluten free diet. She has issues also, which is, is helpful, very helpful. And I haven't given up the gluten and the, and the wheat yet. I'm trying to be more conscious of what I eat, try to trim it out. But that's going to be a huge, huge sacrifice. Um, so, you know, I'm cutting out other things in my life. I used to be fully vegetarian, not vegan because I ate cheese, but I was vegetarian. And God, I wish I'd never gone back to eating meat, but I did. Uh, but it was a very low point in my life and I just didn't care about anything. There's a whole situation behind that. I won't even get into that. But and at this point, uh, I still don't eat a whole lot of meat. I just don't like red meat. I only like fish and um, like chicken, you know, a chicken breast. So I don't really eat a whole lot of meat anyways. But uh, so I'm going to try to incorporate and get rid of that again because I felt much better. I felt much, much better. And nothing against anybody who eats meat. I don't judge other people. I have people who eat meat around me. It doesn't bother me. Whatever. To each their own. Uh, I don't go, I'm not some of those, you know, crazy veget. I'm sorry, this crazy vegetarian vegan people who just preach it. Nope, nope, that's just my lifestyle choice. I don't believe in preaching to other people. Um, but it made me feel better, and I'm I'm really thinking that maybe cutting out the wheat. But that, there's the acceptance. Just to make this an example, I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to get into it. And nourishment. I have to accept that this could very well be uh, something that I have to do as, as much as I'm resistant to it and don't want to. Because there's a, wheat is in a lot of things. That makes a huge difference when you go out to eat and yeah, I don't know. And it's, that's going to be hard. So I'm going to have to learn how to wean myself off of wheat products and start eating. I do eat some gluten-free things because we get stuff here. She has. But it helps that she's here. So we kind of we're brainstorming. But nourishment. So, um, you know, that's a diet change. But that could just only be for a small handful for you. But that, that could be something that will make you feel better. I mean, it's almost like after you stop eating certain things, maybe it's junk food. Maybe you need to cut out junk food and sodas. Something simple as that. That's just kind of on the surface. But what I'm really hearing here is it's nourishing your soul. After all that. <laughs> after that huge explanation. I'm sorry. I just kind of like to throw in examples. So if somebody... Um, 
you know, it's, it's like I do the readings, but sometimes it does relate to me. Not all the time, but sometimes. And here I'm hearing you, you're just going to have to, in order to have balance in your life, if you don't want to be in pain, you may have to accept giving up. And without the pain, then I can be more physically active because I used to be and I, I miss it. I miss it very much. Um, so, uh, but anyways, nourish the soul. But even nourishing your health can nourish your soul too. Just all tie that in. Um, by accepting something and maybe letting it go, if that's what needs to be done, um, you can blossom and move forward. And moving forward, is you're nourishing your soul. And that's going to make a huge difference in your life. A huge, huge difference. Now, I'm not sure why. I don't use these cards often. I like the cards. I mean, the pictures are cool and everything. These are tarot cards. <laughs> These are tarot cards. They're huge. I mean, this is my other tarot. Look at the difference. This is the, uh, and you may, some of you may know the tra dragon tarot. These are bigger even than the oracle cards, <laughs> really. <clears throat> but something, when I started this morning, it said, use your dragon tarot. Use your dragon tarot. Okay. I'm using the dragon tarot. Tarot, tarot. I say it both ways. Um, it just depends. Sometimes it comes out tarot. Sometimes it comes out tarot. <clears throat> Pick and choose. Um, I'll cut the deck here. I already shuffled these and cut the deck, but I, again, I'll do it here. Um, but something told me to use this, and, um, I guess there's a reason. So, let's, let's start with the balance. Oh, my lord, something that popped out already. Yeehaw! <laughs> king of Swords, all right. So, what I'm hearing with the King of Swords, two things. You need to have... Um, balance between <clears throat> how you're emotionally dealing with this and mentally dealing with this. Um, your emotions in this situation may be blocking you, getting in your way. It's almost like you're getting in a way of in a way in. Hold on, <clears throat> Shelly needs more coffee. If this is morning for you, cheers. Not that it has to be morning for you to drink coffee. I don't drink coffee at night because it keeps me up all night, but I would. Sometimes, sometimes I have a little sip or two. Then I regret it, but whatever. Um, and let me just point out this just very quickly, which I don't know if it has any resonance on this reading or not, but when I went to light, well, first when I went to light the incense, because I use incense whenever I do readings. Um, I love incense. This is um, full moon incense. I bought this package with an incense burner, and it has... Um, lavender it, there's an indian i don't remember the name but an indian there were three different packages and i pulled out just to see what was in there and that was in there sold i was all perfect that's for my moon readings <clears throat> anyway so i went to light it and the flame lit pretty good but then all of a sudden it fizzled out and i thought interesting <clears throat> that doesn't usually happen um and then i tried to light it again and i let the flame burn longer and that one took off it looked like it i thought was that thought the flame was going to hit something else honestly it flew up and it was kind of like forked and it was like like this i hear like this <laughs> so uh, it's still burning but i'm just saying that it was almost like something had fizzled out kind of like this something had fizzled out something maybe has ended for you been hard for you to accept but now it's time to accept because after that it just it had a huge flame, and it was burning pretty high. So I'm just saying. Anyways, uh, King of Swords. Um, let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. High Priestess. High Priestess. Um, no, oh, please don't fall off the bed. That would not be good for me. <laughs> uh, speaking of pain. Um, and I have things to do today, so no pain for Callie today. <laughs> no pain, no pain. Um, and if any of you are in physical pain... I send out healing energy to you because it's the worst thing ever. It affects everything in your life. Day-to-day -day things and whatever. All right, King of Swords. So, again, so something is emotionally, I think, maybe stopping you from moving forward. Maybe it's just being caught in your emotions right now. So, if you are, if something has happened that is emotional, I'm not saying to disregard it. What I'm saying is to take a moment to sit down. If you want to cry, cry. If it makes you sad, if it makes you angry, acknowledge those emotions. You know, what this person did hurt me. Piss me off, man. Piss me off and they hurt me. All right? But you can't hold on to that because it's you carry that emotional baggage with you. And, you know, and mentally and physically, that can take a toll on you. 
in everything in your life. It doesn't matter what it is. And it can definitely affect your uh, other relationships. <clears throat> if this was a love relationship, if you were looking to, at some point to find new love, it's really going to affect it if you don't actually deal with these emotions. So accept that that is now over. That's gone. That had to be eliminated, whatever the case may be. Again, take it as it resonates. Put those emotions, deal with them, and then say goodbye to them. Okay. That hurt me. Uh, and it's not that you're not going to forget that, but it helps you to move forward. So it's asking you to be more logical here. The King of Swords is very diplomatic. The King of Swords bases his decisions on logic, no no emotions. Um, not that he doesn't have emotions, but he doesn't let emotions cloud his judgment. And this is the energy that I'm hearing that you, in order to have balance in your life, in order to get back on track and to be able to move forward with your life towards new things, a brand new future, um, even a new love, if that's what this is referring to, a new job, if that's what you're, <clears throat> um, you have to accept it. It could even be something that happened in school. Maybe you're in school and you got a grade that you thought you did better and damn it, <laughs> you know, you thought you were going to get an A, messed up your grade point average, what have you. Well, it sucks. You know, if you didn't study, you have to think about that. Did I not study enough or whatever? But sometimes that's not even it. Sometimes if you're like anything like me who did study, I would study, but my memory sucked. And I would almost freeze when I would take tests. And I'd be pissed off because it's like, oh my God, I studied all this. Why can I not remember now? And I would second guess myself. That's my multiple choice is bad for me. You know, I try to answer the question without looking at the multiple choice answers, because usually that was the right answer. But if I looked at all of them, I'm like, wait, oh, wait, no, is it A? Oh, wait, no, it could be C. Oh, fuck, which one was it? Oops. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> Oopsie. Beep. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, but just saying, I'm just giving examples. So you need to use your, uh, your um, logic here. B, analyze the situation. And your logic. Because the High Priestess is, um, she's about intuition. And a lot of times when I see the High Priestess, I will read it as if you need to use your intuition. But here's the thing. The High Priestess is very mysterious. And the High Priestess is all-knowing. But she will only reveal things when she feels a person is ready. You know, in alignment with the universe and divine timing, the high priestess will say, you know, it's like she's the ultimate teacher. You can't see it right now. She's very mysterious. You can't see it right now. Just trust. You have to trust and believe that things will work out. Keep moving forward. There's a lesson to be learned here. And when I feel the time is right, which is you moving forward, you accept it, you blossom. Now you've nourished your soul. The high priestess will at some point show you there was a reason for this. Okay? So, but you have to trust. And it's not, you can't sit back and say, well, I'm just going to sit here and wait for things to happen. Nope. Because then the high priest is saying, that's not the lesson I was trying to teach you. That's not the lesson that, that you were supposed to learn. I'm not, I don't know if the high priestess is the one that teaches you, but uh, it could be, you know, a spirit in the universe. But if that's what you're going to do, this the high priest says, you know what? Uh, you're not ready for this then. And until you work through what you need to work through, and, uh, you know, learn this lesson. We're not going to, we're not going to let you move forward. And, and, um, it's like a karmic lesson. If that makes any sense, we're not going to let you move forward. We have two cards here. We're not going to let you move forward until you are ready. And you're not ready. If you're not moving, if you're not working through your stuff, dealing with things yourself, then interesting. First, we have the 10 of wands. These cards in particular are, these are what, these cards are called the pip cards. Um, they don't have any, um, pictures, which is interesting, but some, at first I didn't like that. On the other hand, though, it gives you, if you're familiar with Tarot in general, you know the meanings of the cards, and it does give you more option for, um, interpretation, really, without pictures. Eight of Wands. So, first with the Ten of Wands. Okay. Again, with the emotional baggage, this is a burden to you. You're carrying this emotional baggage, which is weighing you down even if you don't realize it's weighing you down T take a take a candid look at your life and see where you know maybe you're tired all of a sudden i'm just so tired all of a sudden why am i so tired it could be emotional exhaustion 
you're not dealing with things. You're just trying to distract yourself, maybe working more or doing this, going out more, going out with friends. Maybe you're partying, maybe you're drinking, just saying. But this is a burden that is weighing you down. But the good thing about the Ten of Wands is it's time to end. Here's the full moon. Put those wands down. Accept that I just can't carry this anymore. I can't carry this relationship anymore. I can't carry this workload anymore. I either have to talk to somebody, it would say at work, and say, listen, this is this is not fair, or this is too much for me. Or you may come to the conclusion that this isn't the job for me. I, I just this job is just not working for me. Now, if it is a job situation, I'm not telling you to quit your job. These are for guidance. We all have free will. This is not to tell you what to do or to predict what will happen. So if it is a job situation, you may have to accept that this isn't the job for you and move forward and look for a new job while you are still working because I don't see where it's wise to quit a job and have no financial way of paying your rent and your bills and what have you for gas, credit card bills, whatever. Ten of Wands, it's time to put the burdens down. You have to accept that this is, it's time for that because something, the Eight of Wands is about communication, fast movement, travel, moving. Maybe you need to move. Maybe you feel like you need to get out of that area, wherever you're at, and accept it. You know, I, I grew up here, but maybe it's time for me to move on and move somewhere else. Um, maybe you want to take a trip. You haven't had a vacation in a long time. That can be emotionally uh, exhausting. You know, maybe you're taking care of too many things. So the Eight of Wands, um, but I'm hearing it, but what I'm hearing specifically is you need to communicate this to someone. You need to communicate maybe how you feel, what you're thinking. And that will lighten the load. Because the card in between, well, eight, nine, ten, but the nine of wands, if you aren't familiar with tarot, is um, nightmares and um, sleepless nights, insomnia, which may very well be happening to you. Um... But again, um, the, the two of wands from the ten to the, to the ten to the eight is the two of wands, which is choosing a path. You have to choose which path you want. You can accept the situation and still stay in it, but I don't, I just, I'm just looking at the, the nine of cups here. The nine of cups is. Being independent and being content, being happy. What I'm hearing with that card on the bottom of the deck is um, you need to choose your path. You need to make a decision. I'm hearing, though, that you can, you, can, you can do this on your own. You can be happy on your own. If it's a relationship, you'll be just fine on your own. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Um, Be independent. Stand up for yourself. Be your own person. That is going to make you feel better. Maybe you're doing something to please someone else. And it's weighing you down. And it could be a significant other. It could be a family member. Maybe you're in a job that they want you to be in. You know, there are families who want their kids to be in certain, whether it's be doctor, lawyer, you know, prestigious job, so to speak. Maybe you're more of the creative type, the more artsy type. And yes, you may be making a lot of money at that job, but are you really happy? Because if you have to work somewhere every day, I'm sorry, and again, I'm not telling you what to do. Um, my belief is, if you're going to have to work every day, Monday through Friday, or whatever your hours are, 8 hours a day, 40 hours a week, here in California, people work way over 40 hours, I'm in California, 40 hours a week. If you're going to have to put in that much work and that much time, and half your life is spent going to work just so you can afford to live, <clears throat> you might as well enjoy your job. You know, I knew somebody who... Um, who worked, he was, a, he was a manager, he was young, he was a manager. <clears throat> I'm going to, that, that flipped while I was shuffling, so I'll take that one. Um, and he loved to, he loved to golf. So, uh, he was our supervisor. He was younger than us, but, well, not younger than me. Maybe not so much the other person, but me. Um, and he ended up working at teaching golf at a golf course. Loved it. Loved it. He said his dad told him, find a hobby that you love and make a job out of it, make a career out of it. So there you go. <clears throat> May the five of wands. Um, I 
What am I hearing with the five of wands? Hold on here. You have internal battles going on to whomever this resonates for. And just as a reminder, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, you have internal battles to that you are struggling with. And in order to blossom and to be able to move forward and be happy with your life, you know, it's spring. It's time to do a spring cleaning. It's time to do a spring cleaning with your external life. That could be material stuff. That could be people in your life, whatever situation you're in, living situation, where you're at, job. And then there's the internal spring cleaning that um, emotionally, yeah, definitely, four of swords, you need to take some time out and meditate. Really, really think about what is out of balance in your life. You really need to think about some changes that you need to make in your life. The Four of Swords is all about meditation, taking a time out, uh, thinking about, again, assessing, assessing, assessing and then accepting, but assessing your life and then um, not too long. You don't want to get caught in your thoughts. So then you, you overthink it. Um, be ready to move when the time is right. So pay attention to that too, because that's the eight of wands because, um, something I think is going to either happen. That's going to make you, if you haven't, if you don't deal with this and you don't make a decision on your own, something's going to force you to do it. And it's not going to be good because then you're going to feel rushed. Say, for example, if you need to be out of, just as an example, if you need to, uh, be out of an apartment move out of an apartment and you're packing your stuff and you know, you're, you're trying to organize and whatever. And the next thing you know, it's like you have one more day and you still have all the stuff to pack. And then you're going to be forced to, maybe you took off some time in there to hang out with your friends and, and did stuff that you kind of were like a little procrastinator, so to speak. Procrastination is not a good thing. <laughs> I know that I do it sometimes. Well, I do it. Yeah, I do it. <laughs> if I want to be honest, I do it. Um, but I like to do things in a chill way. So, um, trying to get me motivated can really be depending on what it is unless like this I was really mo I'm motivated to do this I'd like to do this all day long if I could <laughs> all day long every day uh, life gets in the way man uh, I gotta do other things like today um, I'd like to just spend the day doing readings but I have things to do I have a bill to pay I have to go to and pay in person you can't pay off over the phone and I don't have a laptop I don't do it online uh, anyways <clears throat> but so think about it but don't think too long because uh, you don't want to delay your progress you want to assess your situation, accept something for what it is, and then let it go. Let it go. Get rid of it. Let go. Spring clean. Spring clean inside and outside. Five of Wands is internal battles. You've got something going on in there. Pay attention. Pay attention. That could be um, internal battles even with that high priestess. It could be something that's telling you justice. Yeah, there's the balance again. When you... I'm going to put it over here with this one. Um, because I, I haven't asked about that one yet. But um, with the Justice card, it's it's it being truth. Justice is all about the truth and balance. It's I'm hearing the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Once you are honest to yourself about a situation, accept it for what it is and move on, it will set you free. The options are endless. You can do whatever it is you want. You will blossom and nourish your soul. It's It's a time of blossoming and nourishing. Really. I mean, it's all about a new you. Really. This could be a legal situation, too, just as a side note. If you're going through a legal situation, again, you're just going to have to accept whatever it is, accept whatever the outcome is, because except for appealing, there's not really, and depending on the situation, sometimes you can't appeal, but I don't know how other states work. California, it's, <clears throat> it depends on the situation, and you can appeal. Um, but, you know, honestly, <laughs> um, I'm a little different. I mean, I shouldn't put my two cents in here, but if you have, if you've done the crime or you know you're guilty of something and you still want to appeal even after you've gotten your sentence, even though you know you did it, I know that some people will appeal because maybe they're not guilty. Okay, I understand that. It's like I just got charged with something that I didn't do. That's different because that's injustice in my opinion. Um, but if it's if it's 
Because usually with this card, I hear justice will prevail. So whatever the situation is, it doesn't mean that it will, but if it's a legal situation, um, and I know the justice system isn't always fair. I'm not going to say it is, because that would be a lie. That would be, you know, in denial. But if you know in your heart, you know you did the crime. Only you know if you did it or you didn't. The whole world and the court doesn't know that for sure. They go by evidence and whatever. Um, you know, testimony, evidence, whatever is in the courtroom. And then the jury, if there is a jury, has to decide <clears throat> with everything that's presented if they do believe. But only you know if you did it. And if you did do it, accept. Accept the punishment. Accept you did it. If you do the crime, if you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. Maybe it's not a legal situation, though. <laughs> Just saying. Or I'll get off my soapbox. Here's the Ace of Swords. There's the, the honesty again. Be honest with yourself. The truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. This is a time to be honest with yourself and move and 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 that will help set you free so you can move forward. Alright. Nourishment. For those that this resonates for spirit, what can they do to move forward? Energy moving forward. Ooh, there's a whole crap load of cards. And I this is gonna be long, dude. We have the the general energy is the seven of cups. There's your options. The options are limitless. Wow. And it's really the Six of Pentacles underneath is all about give and take. If you take some action, you give a little bit, <clears throat> you will, whoops, you will, um, you will get back. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like letting go. By letting go, you're going to receive much more. It may be hard to let go. It may be hard to accept. But just keep that in mind. The more you let go, the more you'll get back. I made to put that as the title of my, my video, but I don't know if that makes sense to anybody who hasn't watched the video. The more you let go, the more you receive or you get back. So in other words, if you get rid of something, it's you opening up a portal, a gateway, a portal, if you will, for good things to come into your life. Okay, we have the lovers making a choice. And it can be a love situation. doesn't have to be, though. Uh, we have the fool. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to take a chance. Ten of cups. Ten of cups. Beautiful. Emotional fulfillment. And two of cups. So with the two of cups, it could be a love situation. You have to take a leap of chance. A leap of chance. A, a leap of faith. You have to take a chance and take a leap of faith. Oh, dear God, I need some more coffee. <laughs> Uh, I'll take a little break after this reading. The lovers. It's the lovers though is um the lovers can also uh, what I'm hearing in this particular it could be a love situation. So it could be making a choice. Uh, uh this could be a reunification or reunion with someone, making that choice. Um choosing between two people, but that's not what I'm hearing here. What I'm hearing here is um the balance between your masculine and feminine energies. So masculine and feminine energies, we have both of those within us. We usually resonate with one more than the other. So if you are, uh, the, the, if you, you, and it has nothing to do with your gender. If you resonate more with feminine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, male or female, it doesn't matter. If you resonate more with the, the female, you probably are more emotional, um, are more intuitional. You, you base your decisions on emotion, intuition, um, that kind of thing, whereas the masculine energy is more up in the head, mental, analytical, logic. So, depending on which one you are, you may have to balance both of your masculine and feminine energy. Balance out your emotions and your thoughts. Don't overthink. Don't get too emotional. Um, when you're trying to make a decision, try to balance those out. But with that, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. And you see how his, he's carrying just a little knapsack of stuff? That's basically, you've let go. Take a leap of faith and let go of that emotional baggage. Let go of all that baggage that you're carrying that's weighing you down. And that will, in turn, nourish you. Mentally, physically, in all aspects of your life. And you will have emotional fulfillment. You have emotional fulfillment coming. Moving forward. From the full moon moving forward, if you work through this process... You will have emotional fulfillment, which could then very well lead to either a new relationship, because the Two of Cups is about love and partners. It could be another uh, 
work situation where you partner with somebody and it's a good work situation. Again, the cups are usually about love and emotion, but it could then again it could be masculine and feminine energy. A partnership between the two within you. Where so you where you can feel now you can feel passionate about something and feel content about it. Whoa! <laughs> I'm loving this. All right, now I'm going to do uh, get an oracle deck to close this out. The Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. So this is going to give us some further information on maybe what we should focus on, what steps we should, further steps we should take, but what should be our main focus? And that will give an idea of, um, uh, this one wanted to come out, and I will take this one because that one's hanging with it. Happiness, bottom of the deck. Look at the freedom of the dolphins. The dolphins are very happy. They're intelligent, too. So you've used your wisdom, and you're going to have success. And whatever it is, you're going to have success. So whoever this resonates for, um, change can be daunting. It can be intimidating. Uh, uh, giving up something can be intimidating, too. Um, just keep in mind, though, that this is, again, meant to happen. Be open. The openness. And there's that full moon. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's what I'm hearing with this particular message here, loud and clear. For those this resonated for, listen up. Listen up to this. If anything else, pay attention to this. Your openness to accept this and let it go and being open to just letting the universe, trusting in the process and letting the universe guide you. Trust that the universe will guide you in the right direction. Okay. You know, and I'm not saying it's easy, but you're just going to have to release any control you may think you need to have in the situation, release those emotions, release anything, release all that negativeness, any that you may have. Even step out tonight into the full moon, wherever you are, when the full moon is present, step out in there, even ask the moon to give you some energies. I do that all the time, whether I'm indoors or outdoors, you don't even have to go outside. If you can see it through the window. Um, you know, I'm upstairs. So if I see it, I'll be talking to it. Um, be open to this process. Be open to letting the universe take control. And by doing that, you are going to open up, again, more portals and gateways to endless possibilities, to endless happiness. There's going to be so many good things coming in, all because of one thing, one particular thing. Open your heart, open your mind. And let, let the energy in for a new beginning. So open your heart, open your mind, that will lead to a new beginning. Wow. Let's see what we have here. Flexibility. You have to be flexible. Maybe you're kind of set in your ways. I'm going to get one of these two. Maybe you're set in your ways. The full moon is a time of purging and moving forward. It's, it's getting ready for new beginnings. Uh, and by releasing whatever it is, you are opening up your heart and your mind. I'm hearing time to release, a time of release, open your heart and mind for new beginnings. Wow. And be, be flexible. The flexibility, go with the flow. Learn to go with the flow. If you're not that kind of person, learn to go with the flow. Just accept things as they come. You know, work through this, do all this, and then accept things as they come. Um, the Enchanted Map uh, Oracle is by... Colette Baron Reed. I, I love this deck. This is one of the first Oracle decks I got. I had never seen anyone use it, but I saw it in the store. There it is. There's the card. Um, and I, I, it, it spoke to me, and I bought it. I'd never seen anyone use it, which was interesting. I still don't. I don't see anyone use it, but I love it. I don't even know if it's available anymore. Modern of the deck. Into the Known, card number seven, which I will read. And Solitude, number 13. I'm going to do Solitude first. Stuff in my eyelashes that now I can't see. All right, number 13. Solitude. You may need to spend some time alone to think about things, what direction you want to go. And that's fine. That's your, where'd it go? Where'd that meditation card go? <laughs> I don't know where it went. Maybe it was on the bottom of the deck. I think it was. All right. Solitude. I am comfortable in my own skin. I detach. I detach to replenish my soul. Nourishment. I detach to replenish my soul. 
Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of superfluous thoughts. If you don't know what that means, you're going to have to look it up because I, I'm, I'm assuming it's negative thoughts, but I don't actually know the meaning myself. Um, empty your mind of superfluous, superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantageous blah, 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 blah. This is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off of your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of a much needed rest and time out. I'm messing up the cards here. So, for whomever this resonated for, that's exactly what this is saying. I'm going to pull this card up at the top here too. In order to balance out your life, you need to spend some time uh, thinking about, again, what's out of balance. And as I said, so you need to take some time alone. You know, put a do not disturb on your door if you need to. Turn your phone off. Don't answer calls. Don't let anyone interrupt you. Really focus on your life and <clears throat> and accept what it is. Just accept that there are things in your life that you need to change, that you need to get rid of. That is going to let you, allow you to blossom. And it's going to nourish your, your heart and your soul. And your mind. Your heart, your soul, your mind. Everything is going to come into because you have the Ten of Cups. You need to be open to this. You need to be flexible. Um, and your solitude is going to bring you to... Uh, and, and into the unknown. We're going to do that one next. But it's going to open up so many different avenues that you never thought were possible. And it doesn't matter what it is. Maybe it'll open up more. It'll open you up to new love. Maybe you'll find a new job. Maybe you'll decide to move. Maybe you'll go on a trip. I mean, the, the, the options are endless. That's what the Seven of Cups is. The Seven of Cups is options. Sometimes if you have too many options, it can also mean having a hard time making a choice, which is possible here. Maybe you're having a hard time making a choice. Sit down and figure that out for yourself into the unknown. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. It's number seven, what it says on the top, trust and all will be revealed. There's your high priestess. Trust in the process. All will be revealed. I, the energy I am feeling, I can't even tell you. Uh, it has nothing to do with the coffee either. I could just do a little Irish jig back here. <laughs> and if I was able to go live, I might show you, but I can't. So, life is an adventure, and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times. You're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. Holy crap, I don't even know what to title this now. There's so many things that have come out of this. I'm actually dizzy. <laughs> I'm dizzy. <laughs> I'm fine. But I'm dizzy. <laughs> um, for whoever this resonated for, I hope this helped you in some way. And uh, if it did resonate, I would love for you to tell me in the comments. Please please give me some feedback. I would love that. Um, I'm excited for this because somehow I feel that this could resonate with everyone. I may even have to put that in the beginning. That this could resonate with everyone because... We all must have things in our lives that we probably should tweak or change or whatever. Take some time out. Think about our life. What's out of balance? What needs to? This is a perfect time to do it. It's a new moon. We're going, and then we'll be going towards a full moon. I mean, it's a full moon going towards a new moon in a couple of weeks, which means it's time to assess what needs to be removed from our life. Again, like a spring cleaning. It's not officially spring yet, but this is time to do a spring cleaning. And I can't imagine that this can't resonate with everyone in some way. But for those of you who it really did resonate for and you liked, please smash that like button. I would appreciate it. And I would love to hear from you. Please comment and let me know. So feedback is always appreciated. Um, and I would definitely encourage you to subscribe. Subscribe and join the tribe. That's my motto. Myself and Remy. Uh, so, uh, and hit the bell button that's next to, next to the subscribe button. If you don't know, there's a little bell icon. So you can get notifications of more videos that I do. I am in the process of doing love 
readings right now for all the zodiac signs. I've done a handful of them. I believe that I haven't done Scorpio yet. I think Scorpio will be next. But you can go to my page. I have everything in playlists. You can thumb through there and see what things you like. Check it out. Um, but I would love if you'd subscribe. Uh, I also would like to go live, and I need a thousand subscribers to be able to go live. So, you know, I would appreciate if you'd subscribe for that reason, too. But but really, I would I would like for you to subscribe for your own benefit. So, um, and you hit the bell button, and when readings come up, you can, you can check them out and see if, as the days go on, I do daily readings. Check those out. Check those, I'll call them, again, they're going to be called Daily Dose. Every day has a different theme. Monday moods, t Tuesday tempos, Wednesday wisdom, but they all tie together. I just thought it would be kind of fun to have a little, you know, a little theme. Tuesday tempos is kind of dance to the, the rhythm of your own beat or whatever, but it's moving forward. So it's basically meant to be like a chain, if you will, a storyline that, so, okay, this is what Monday moods, this is kind of what mood we may be in or mindset, and this is, of course, a moon reading, but tomorrow will be the tempos moving forward. So you can actually get more information. And then Fridays is Friday frequencies, but um, I usually do a weekend read, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So um, just to get the general energies for uh, the weekend. But I do Zodiac signs. I do Twin Flame reads if you're on a Twin Flame. So just a bunch of sometimes I pick a card read. And you can just check out my channel if you want to see what I do. Uh, rather than me blather blather on here. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but I would appreciate if you'd subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Please join the tribe. Um, I'm gonna, when I do go live, they'll be called Tribe Talks. And, um, you know, we can hang out. And I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. So you can check me out on Instagram. I may go live on there at some point very soon. Uh, you only get an hour on there, but still, you know, it could be fun. We can all interact, and I can do a, a little general energy read for everyone. Um, you know, so join the tribe. Join the tribe. Let's have some fun. Let's get some wisdom in the process and help each other out here. And, and hopefully Spirit will have messages for all of us. All right? And if you want to share, I would appreciate that too. Get the message out to as many people as possible. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, for my tribe, if you are returning, thank you for coming back and tuning in. And for those who are new, welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you tuned in, and I hope you will join the tribe. Um, I love doing this, and I love interacting with you all. And at the end of the day, we all need some some uh, wisdom, I think, including myself. And hopefully these readings can help as many people as possible. And I love helping people, so I really hope these help. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mwah! I will see you all later. And... Um, Remember, the moon is about getting rid of things. We're in the full moon. Mercury retrograde is direct now. Delays are going to be lifted. We have a little shadow period here during the week. So don't get don't get panicky if things aren't working as, as well or as smoothly as you hope. We have one more shadow period, one week. And then, okay, Friday is the 13th. I may do Friday frequencies at Friday the 13th for type read. So tune in. I'm telling you, tune in. Hit that bell button. Subscribe and hit that bell button. You know, and down below, um, also, um, I also have, if you don't know your biological chart... <laughs> I say that every time. Astrological chart. <laughs> Your birth chart. <clears throat> I will have that link down below. So uh, when you do watch Zodiac, whether it's mine or someone else's, um... You can check your uh, astrological chart out if you don't know yours. If you know your birth time, it's even better. You can get your rising sign. But with your birth date, your birth date you can get your whole chart. And I'll, I'll put that link down below. Okay? Thank you for tuning in. Mwah. Love you all. And I hope you will come back. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button. Come see Remy again. Come see Remy and I again. Join the tribe. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Peace out to y'all. Peace.